Irish mixed martial artist, MMA, Conor McGregor made an abrupt decision to retire from the sport on Tuesday, March 26. I've decided to retire from the sport formerly known as mixed martial art today. I wish all my old colleagues well going forward in competition, tweeted McGregor in the shock announcement. McGregor ended his decorated MMA career with a brawl marred submission loss to Russia's Khabib Nurmagomedov and was slapped with a $50,000 fine and a six-month ban from UFC. The Russian, on the other hand, was handed a nine-month ban and $500,000 fine as his team initiated the melee by jumping on McGregor. Two weeks before the Irishman announced his retirement, McGregor was charged with criminal mischief and strong-armed robbery for allegedly smashing a fan cell phone outside a Florida nightclub. The Dubliner, one of the most bankable stars in UFC, had previously vowed to retire in 2016 in a move that was widely seen as a negotiating gambit. I have decided to retire a young. Thanks for the cheese, McGregor wrote in April 2016. His short-lived retirement ended in August 2016 when he returned to fight Nate Diaz in Las Vegas. McGregor, who started out as a struggling plumber before becoming a multimillionaire, rose to fame when he joined UFC in 2013 and became the only fighter to hold titles in two divisions simultaneously. In 2015, he defeated Jose Aldo at UFC 194 for the featherweight title via a knockout 13 seconds into the first round, which is the fastest victory in UFC title fight history. The following year, McGregor Eddie Alvarez for the UFC lightweight championship at UFC 205 via a round two technical knockout. McGregor also ventured into boxing in 2017 and faced retired American boxer Floyd Mayweather in a money-spinning fight that saw MMA star submit to round 10 TKO.